success in the Netherlands earlier. Second ball. Ball in. Success to Rickers. This should be a good shot and it's good enough for... This is a good shot. He's not in his head. First ball. And that just rubs salt into the room. That could be a cotton ball. Now I'd like to see the reaction time on that. Now we're going for four. Six. Not four, but maximum. Beautiful straight drive. Neil McCallum has played a stroke, but Ricky Ponting. Oh, yes, Youngman has made an important strike. It's coming right. And it's gone. Beautiful catch. Just like that. Well bowled, the young man. Well stopped the skipper. Nicely put away by Glenn Rogers. Beautifully timed. Didn't try and over hit the ball. Just a right on placement. Did it well. Oh, that's a shocker. Got the treatment as it should have. Oh, and there's a big appeal. Rogers is on his way. Nick behind. Big shot from Hoffman through the vacant cover area. The Netherlands. Bunger again, Hoffman hits up and he hits high. Will it be caught? And it is. Excellent hands there, Kinder Schnati. Fetch that. Terrific shot. That's better from Baz. Nice. Nice and organised and there's no stopping it. to be out, isn't it? See it now. John Blaine then has a wicket. Oh, there's a cracking stroke. Perfect on drive. This is straight up in the air. It's got to be the keepers. He's got the gloves on. The way he goes. Second wicket. And he cuts very late. He cuts well. Ken Descartes starting up the other with a boundary. Ken Descartes goes long all the way. We're ducking in the commentary box here. Scots. And there's no stopping that. I'm afraid that's too good. The placement and the power. Honour is restored as far as the Dutch are concerned. Scotland have been laid to waste here in St Kitts today. That is a massive victory by eight wickets and with more than 26 overs to spare. So a second World Cup win in the history of the Netherlands and a disappointing end to Scotland's campaign. They'll be hoping they can brush themselves down and have a good summer ahead of the 2020 World Cup in South Africa this September.